If you're using an NVIDIA GPU and uh, the NVIDIA GeForce Experience app alongside with it, you'll know that it comes with a lot of handy features. My name is Adullah. You're watching Canada Technology and in this video, we're talking about what you can do if your NVIDIA overlay filters are not working. First thing that you have to do, the absolute first thing is to check whether or not your game is supported by GeForce Experience or the NVIDIA app. Now I'll put a link to this page in the description below, but basically you can check, uh, you have a list of all the games that are supported here, uh, whether for optimal game settings, photo mode, freestyle highlights and optimal application settings as well. So uh, just do a quick check whether or not your game is in there. The overlay should work fine regardless of whether or not your game is in this list considering it's uh, over the display overlay and not uh, anything invasive with the game itself. But uh, you know just to make sure go ahead uh, check your game if it's here then it should be working properly and if it's not in the list then you can expect to have problems. Now, uh, if you've done that and your game uh, still isn't getting the filters, what you can try is to update your NVIDIA drivers. Now, uh, for this, fire up the NVIDIA app, head over to the drivers section and just make sure you have the latest driver ready. Uh, I have the latest driver installed. Uh, if I want, I can check for updates. Uh, you can see, there are none. Also, make sure that you're using a game ready driver and not the studio driver because that can actually make uh, one help. A difference when it comes to uh, situations uh, last but not least if you haven't already update to the nvidia app um, you will find the link to this in your in the video description but essentially uh, this app now replaces geforce experience and it gives you a much better experience while doing so uh, if you have geforce experience it should automatically prompt you to update and if it has already please go ahead and update to the nvidia app and that should fix your problem going forward if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video